Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to Trendy Go. From the rarest Bugattis of Malsheim, museum-grade Aston Martins, to the supercar stables of BMW, the supercar Blondie is currently the world's most trusted source of automobile extravagance. Three years ago, Alexandra Mary Hershey, an Australian hustler, quit her day job to hunt down, experience, and film the world of luxury motoring. Today, at 34, she's based in Dubai with millions of followers and is living life what most auto enthusiasts would dream about. She believes that cars aren't about four-wheeled transportations, but machines to be enjoyed. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at five luxurious cars owned by the supercar Blondie. But before we talk more about that, please make sure you press that red subscribe button along with the tiny bell icon to enter into our monthly shout-out giveaway. Just comment down below saying I subscribed and we will enter you into the giveaway. Number 5. The Mitsubishi Lancer what many don't know about Supercar Blondie is that before she bought any supercar, she used a Mitsubishi Lancer to traverse her home turf of Queensland, Australia. As an inexpensive alternative to the legendary Lancer Evo, the Lancer boasts an aggressive look at an engaging driving style like its more powerful brethren. It's easy to see how the Lancer laid the foundation for Blondie's love of driving. Blondie even went on to recall in one of her interviews that the best thing about driving supercars is the way it made her feel. Thanks to a love of the open road that the Lancer sparked, we now live our supercar fantasies out through Supercar Blondie's YouTube channel. Number 4. BMW i8 Of course, Blondie's supercar story didn't really start until she packed her bags and moved to Dubai. One of the few places on earth where Porsche 911s and Alfa Romeos are considered basic. Once she got a foothold in her new career, supercar Blondie leapt past her Lancer days, bought herself a BMW i8, and decked it out with a gray and black color scheme and neon yellow accent stripes. Though the i8's outlandishly futuristic looks allow her to blend into the Dubai streets with ease, the 369 horsepower its hybrid drivetrain puts out pales in comparison to the Koenigseggs and AMGs she drives on the Gram. But that doesn't make it a bad purchase. Number 3. The Lamborghini Huracan LP610 4 Technically, the Lamborghini Huracan gets its name from a famous fighting bull, as all Lamborghinis do, but its name also means hurricane in Spanish. When considering that the Huracan LP610 4 routes 610 horsepower to all four wheels using a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission, enabling neck-snapping launches as the 5.2-liter V10 tries to match gale winds, you can see why the Lamborghini picked a moniker with those dual meanings. And due to the Huracan's outrageous wedge-shaped body and the whale it emits from its quad-pipe exhaust system, it's just easy to see why Supercar Blondie bought one to replace her i8. Number 2. Rolls-Royce Wraith This year, Alex decided to sell the famous Lucy in order to spice things up a bit with a brand new $380,000 Rolls-Royce Wraith black badge she bought sometime in May. The super luxury coupe trumps the likes of the Bentley's Continental GT and pretty much any other car in the segment, providing ultimate luxury married to extreme performance. Courtesy of a 6.6-liter .6 V12 engine, the Wraith develops 624 horsepower and shuttles to 60 miles per hour in about 4.4 seconds. An amazing feat for a 5,400-pound monster. Recently, Alex did what she does to most of her expensive cars and gave her stunning Wraith a makeover by hanging a bottle of green paint over it and letting it swing as it releases the bright green stuff all over the $380,000 car. Expectedly, we don't think she was too thrilled with the result. And number one, McLaren 720S. We've been waiting for Supercar Blondie to finally come through with a new supercar for months now, and in July, her McLaren 720S finally arrived. The $300,000 supercar is the perfect track monster and features a 710 horsepower engine capable of reaching 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. There's even a special body kit in the making for this thing, and Alex promises it'll be cooler than anything we've seen on this car. And that's all for today's video, guys. I hope you guys liked it. Go ahead and share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. All right, we'll see you in the next video.